Hey there, it's Vicki Marie, and today I'm going to take you along on a day in the life. I am just working through uh, my routines, and I'm filming this on Thursday, the day before St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to put a little bit of St. Patrick's Day decor, like it's going to be pretty wimpy decor, uh, but I'll show you guys what I'm doing because it's all I'm doing for St. Patrick's Day. I'm just not in the mood to decorate. I'm, I've got, I'm getting rid of some um, bags of uh, like decluttering. I've been doing that on a regular basis. I try to fit in about 15 minutes of decluttering a day right now, and it's really helping. I've been using the 5S system to really help me, mainly to declutter, but also just to kind of remind me when I'm like moving through my house. It just gives me a quick little, you know, like I won't go into those. I, I talked about it on yesterday's vlog where it was a Hobby Lobby slash fi, uh, 5S system. Um, so if you have any questions, you can watch that video uh, and it goes in a little more detail. But but I also am still using the Fly Lady system. In the Fly Lady system, I use the Fly Lady uh, Plus, the app on my phone. It is available for Android and iPhone. I'm not affiliated at all, but it, it is something that works really well for me and has consistently worked for me for quite a long time to help me maintain those routines. And it's, you know, so you can check it off. And I'm always, I always have my to-do list and um, I write things down. But what I often don't do is I don't often write down, like I'll write down my errands or I'll write down the extra things I have to do. But the things I do on a regular basis, they're in my app, on my Fly Lady app, so I don't really write those down, like unload the dishwasher, reboot the laundry, you know, those types of things. So I'm gonna pop that up on the screen, and this is where I'm at today. Like, this is the stuff I, I, I need to work through. Some of the stuff I've gotten done, I've made my bed, I've gotten dressed to my, my shoes, which you can't see. <laughs> I've got my shoes on, though. Um, I've started a load of laundry and I've already rebooted it so you're gonna see that on my list um, I always start a load in the morning and then I reboot it after lunch if I don't I have a reminder to reboot it after lunch that way it doesn't sit too long in the wash uh, but usually I remember to do it before after lunch but you know if I'm not home I know that I'll have that reminder in my afternoon routine so uh, I have tweaked my afternoon routine, so the Fly Lady has sort of a default kind of thing, but then I added a few things like vitamins and exercise into my routine, and I have gym workout in the afternoon, and then I have uh, I have exercise in the morning, because usually I, I will do a little bit, I'll, I'll take you know who for a, you know, like my puppy for a W-A-L-K, and that's my exercise. I have that in there because I try to do some form of exercise in the morning, but usually I'll do an afternoon workout in my home gym, and that's my gym workout. So that's separate than what I call exercise. And I don't do a gym workout every day, but I try to exercise on most days. So I, that's why it works for me to have it separated like that. But I did that myself. I customized the Fly Ladies app. So and I've shared the Fly Ladies app before, so I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and show you again. And as I move through my day and get a few things done, so I'm not, I'm like really not in the mood to do anything. We got this snow. Uh, I'm just, I have not been in the mood to get to do anything. I did uh, have some toast for breakfast, but I'm going to have peanut butter and jelly for lunch because I am starved. And I want to have my peanut butter and jelly and then go have my, and then get my workout in. So uh, that's the plan. And um, and then for dinner, I think we're going to have some like chicken and pasta kind of thing. So anyway, we'll see what happens. But that's sort of what my day is like. So I'm going to work through my the things on my list and let's see what I can get done. So hopefully this helps you and gives you some ideas. It, it does help me to have a morning routine and an afternoon routine because uh, the morning stuff is, you know, like um, it just helps me that way. I know I can check off. Twice a day, I look at that and I check it off. And then if I have errands to run or things like that, I do write them on my other list on the refrigerator and, you know, I check those off. And those are sort of, I don't have to do them today, but I have, I try to do them during the week. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. But let's get into, uh, to today I'm just going to take you along and let's get a few things and done. I am, I am like so hungry, so hungry. Um, I have to eat... Every couple of hours, I, I have to eat every couple hours. Usually I will have, 
you know, like for breakfast, I might, if I have toast, I'm going to have something two hours later, maybe uh, a banana, even just, just a banana. I'm down to one banana though, and I have to save it for Don or I'm going to have to go to the grocery store. So I'm like, that's how I think. Like, I don't want to go to the grocery store and normally I would, but I'm down to one banana. So I can't eat it. I got to save it for Don. Uh, so, um, anyway, I don't have to save it for him, but I do because, uh, cause he's going to need one for his workout. And anyway, it's just how I think, you know? So anyway, I'm so hungry. I'm, I'm just using, I just have this jiffy. I don't have my natural peanut butter. I have this is all I have. So I'm going to eat it. I had to get it in my sub pantry cause I didn't go to the grocery store. It was on my list. Uh, I, I wished I could just blend my own peanut butter and you know, like sometimes I just eat a handful of peanuts and a banana, like seriously. I'm not a foodie, like I'm not, I mean, I do enjoy food, but I'm not, I'm not like anymore since the kids moved out, I'm not gonna hang out in the kitchen and put a lot of time into my meal planning except for Don, I, I mean, I like to cook for him, I do. And my husband, I'd like to cook for him, but it's rare that I am even like in the mood to, to do anything new in the kitchen anymore. Like, I hope it, it, it I don't wanna, I hope it doesn't last forever, but this has been going on for a while now. Uh, I just was doing grab, grab a banana, a handful of peanut butter. I mean, I've been known to eat peanut butter off a spoon. I just scoop it out. So if I'm in a hurry, and rather than just preparing a nice sandwich and sitting down, uh, I think when it warms up and I can go outside, I will do that more because I do love to have my lunch outside where the birds are. I do like to do that, but I don't know. Inside, I'm just like, I just want to get to the next thing. So I really need to work on slowing down and enjoying, you know, like just enjoying those quiet moments for myself and not getting so caught up in all the things that I want to get done. Uh, Cause I really still like my to-do list. I still gauge my level of success during a day. Like if I, the more I get done, I, if when I have a day where I don't get stuff done, I don't, I feel like I've slacked off. I don't, it's just like been ingrained in me from such an early age to accomplish and get stuff done. Okay. I'm going to eat my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm having, um, this Smucker's Natural, and just a little bit, and then I'm having the thin, the thin slice. I only had two slices left of the kill, Dave's Killer Bread, and it's uh, even the heel, but I'm eating it because that's what I want. So it's it's a thin sliced bread, but oh, it's so good. All right, I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna check in with my. So I bread. have two bags in a box by my front door because that stuff's going to the thrift shop. I have been going through closets, going through uh, some home decor, just going through stuff, letting it go. Don't want it, don't need it. Let it go to somebody else, and it's just getting easier and easier for me to do that. But that's just sitting there, and I am gonna put a little bit of uh, decor up here. This is my simple, so simple, so simple. Uh, St. Patrick's Day decor. Here's what I'm going to do. So that's my simple happy Val happy St. Patrick's Day <laughs> decor. That's as complicated as I'm getting this year.
you have to protect your time. You have to decide when you're going to work out and then you have to, um, to show up for yourself. And whether it's in a gym, whether it's at home, whether you're going to go running in the morning, set that alarm and go <laughs> get out the door early. Um, you have to do that for yourself. You can't wait till it, you feel good about it or it feels like you, you it's not going to happen naturally, <laughs> at least in my experience. And even after seven years, uh, you would think by now it would just be ingrained in me. And it's not. I still, I still have this internal struggle some days, especially on a day like today when it's so gloomy. But when it's all said and done and it's all over, I, I'm i proud of myself for showing up and I feel good. And I'll get the laundry done. I'll, you know, get a few things done around the house in the laundry. It might wait till tomorrow. That's just the way it is. I'm tired. <laughs> I am so tired. And, but I know I feel better because I got some things done. And... You know, I haven't been sleeping well lately, and I've been taking, uh, I've been taking, um, what is it, Zequel, which is sort of hit and miss for me. So a friend of mine did give me a suggestion. I'm gonna, or I'm gonna order something from Amazon. I'll show you guys. Uh, I'll let you if it works. But you know, when you're not getting enough sleep, it oh, it's just, uh, just makes everything worse. So I. I know that that's part of my problem and whenever I start not getting enough sleep and it gets cold like it is right now, I start feeling sluggish. I just want to eat simple carbs and not do anything. So thanks for hanging out with me today because this really does help me. It, it helps me to know that I'm going to vlog and then bring you along. Uh, and yeah, and you know, when being an empty nester, it's a little bit more difficult for me to get motivated to, to do things sometimes. Cause you know, my husband's so easygoing too. Uh, I know he's still here. I'm not in, by myself. I've got Roscoe, but you know, there's there's not as much to do around the house as there used to be. So, yeah. And sometimes I'm just not motivated to do it. So, well, anyway, let me know how you're doing. And let me know what the weather's doing at your place. Because it's like, the high was like 42 degrees today. And uh, the, the days are getting longer. So, I'm glad that it's still daylight uh, so late in the day. John's due home any minute. It's about, it's like about 5 o'clock, 4.30. That's I think it's closer to 4.30, but he'll be home before 5, hopefully. And here, I think um, we're doing a really easy pasta chicken kind of pre prepackaged deal. Oh, I'm so cheating today, but that's just where I'm at today. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you um, so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. All about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you? Wanna see you smile? Where's the happy girl?